Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. Last time around we ended off with me trying to get the Ottomans to accept Sicily as uh, a gift, really. Just so I can quarantine them. It's kind of a, a Trojan horse in that way. And I was failing with giving them money and technology and all that stuff and giving them... I figured out, though, what the problem was. The main problem, why they wouldn't agree to it, was because they wouldn't agree to peace. They wouldn't agree to a peace treaty with me. So once I just gave them the city, that was fine. That actually, they accepted that. So we currently have the Trojan horse set up and ready. This is going to where we're going to be transplanting the Ottomans. I've burnt the port. They won't have the money to rebuild it, so we'll be able to um, keep them bottled up here. But first, of course, we need to destroy them. I've sent the extra troops that were recruited here up to join Pavel and his army. So we now have one heavy field gun and then two um, normal field guns, mortars, Lots of infantry, two units of the Iron Regiment, cavalry and so on. He'll go ahead and crush this army. Then once he's done that, he'll move on. Take out Constantinople. At the same time, Vasily and his fleet has moved in position. And he will take out the Ottoman fleet. They haven't repaired the port, so they're neither getting into trade or recruiting any new ships out of that. So we'll rest safe in the sea. And then once that's done, yeah, move on and take out the small Spanish fleet. At this point, it might be possible actually sending some ships over just to test to see if I will make even more money from the oil. Uh, as this area will be safe for me to uh, take control of. Um, so that's what's going on over there. But I have another thing going on as well, which is I'm trying to get a peace treaty with France. And the way to do that is I'm going to first take something from them, then I'm going to give it back to them. So I'm hoping to take Corsica and I'm going to give it back to them as part of a peace treaty. So we got my transport ship right here and it's uh, transported the general that I sent down to take um, Sicily. So it's Misik and his army, mostly consistent of the old infantry and the old cannons and so on. But he should be able to do this because it's all territorial kind of reservist battalions that are situated. A lot of them though, but we should be fine. Take that and then peace, ask for peace treaty with France. Once that's done, I am pretty confident that I'll actually be able to stay at peace with France. France is at war with my common enemy, Kingdom of Italy. Once I get peace with France, I'll say, oh, I'll join the war against Italy if we're allied and so on. And then as we're both fighting them, hopefully I can turn that around and we'll stay, France will stay as more of a permanent friend of mine. Uh, same as kind of how we turned the Russians and how we never had to turn the British Empire. British Empire is the only one that has continued World War One. if you don't count the Germans then. The Germans, uh, they took Belgium and then there was like, yeah, that's all, that's all we, that's all we really wanted. Um, but Germany and Britain, they have constantly, they have not gone ahead and signed a peace treaty. Uh, I guess mostly because they haven't been fighting that much. Although I have been seeing large amount of troops set in ships. So it might be a massive in British invasion going on trying to liberate Belgium. Also, as you might note, we're starting to get closer to the end of the campaign and a lot of people said, oh, I think I'll think you'll do it. One thing they forgot is that there's a time limit, of course. We need to get it done by early November 1918. Now, not going to do Berlin because I think that's too much, but I'm, I'm going to do two-thirds of it. But you might also notice that it is early December 1917. And what does that mean? That means revolutions. We actually had British Revolution uh, where they 
attacked Trafalgar Square. Seems odd. Um, but the general public is very unhappy. The war has been dragging on. They haven't been shooting anything, but <laughs> Britain has recruited tons of troops, which was enough for a revolution to take part. And I have seen British armies shooting at each other. So we've I imagine we've got a similar thing going at through a lot of the bigger nations. Um, the worst affected, though, is Russia, because they get an actual event. The communists got gunned down, unless they're holding... Looks like, yeah, they're repairing the port, so... They, I, they were defeated, then they were pushed back to the port. Looks like they're repairing it, so that means the communists were destroyed. But, we have Estonia rising, and we have Belarus... Uh, risen at and claimed independence and then we also have the Ukrainians soon to claim their own independence they've dragged together two full stacks to take back the Odessa region and declare independence they failed to uh, cause a revolution in Ukraine uh, might be because there was enough Russian troops to crush the rebellion also, I believe the Ukrainians get armies here, here and here, um, all of which kind of failed, or if they all, they actually combined to send all of them down here. I'm actually trading with, let's see, the Estonians. So I'm actually trading with them. We're indifferent with the Belarusians. The thing also is the Latvian, oh, it's the Latvians. Region, the region is Estonia, but the nation is Latvia. Okay. Um, the thing is here, uh, Russia is not actually at war with them. Same with the Belarusians. The Russians are actually trading with them, rather than trying to reclaim the region. Now, they're not very happy with either of them. Oh, did F I guess Finland didn't manage their revolution either, then could have been a too strong garrison. Anyways, so what we're going to do for this episode is we're going to start off by a naval battle. I'm going to sink the Ottoman fleet. Then we're going to end turn and then we're hopefully going to make Pavel move and crush this army or it's going to be the battle over here. Um, not sure entirely. Let's go ahead and start off. We're going to start off by sinking the Ottoman navy. It's close enough that I don't dare out resolve and lose tons of ships. It's also because they actually got proper dreadnought ships and battle cruisers. Battle cruisers having more firepower and a lot more. Uh, they're faster, I should say. They're not. They don't have more hull. And then, if I could capture those cargo ships. That would be nice, but I've never actually managed to do that because a single kind of volley just absolutely annihilates those ships. But it would be nice to kind of capture them and have more than what I'm technically allowed to have. With that said, though, let's go ahead and fight this battle. Holy sh... I... The battle just, uh, they just started. I didn't actually know we were in range of the enemy. One salvo of the enemy's main battleship, the Admiral ship, took out almost 50 guns and then half the crew out of this ship. And that was just one volley coming out of that. Currently... I'm not entirely sure I've done any damage to him yet. No crew. I didn't... Oh, there we go. Three ships just unloaded on him. I guess he's got such higher range than us. And that's why. What I'm... What I was hoping to do was actually... Um, go ahead and try and get it so that um, I would try to actually capture them but what I would have yeah look at that he was able to fire all the way from over there and hit my ad admiral ship shit 
I was about to say, my admiral has fallen. I'm concentrating fire, but I guess the range... ...is so much greater on the actual battleships compared to the pre-Dreadnought ones. And it's not actually a stat that is mentioned. Jesus Christ, they're actually ruining that ship down there. What I wanted to make sure was to... Yeah, not have fired will on. And then not have these ships fire on the um, the smaller ships, destroying them before I could capture them. So instead what I would do, instead of having them turned on to fired will, so tell my ships to attack the enemy like that instead of um, of having them on fired will. I think I'm gonna micromanage this one because uh, looks like they were doing some wonky maneuverings here. Just a firepower of the actual battleships. Yeah, he's absolutely ruining. He's absolutely ruining my ship. This kind of close quarters fighting. It seems to be faster as well. Yeah, it is a battle cruiser. So he should be faster. But damn! Oh, we only have two guns on that side? Okay, we'll hold. And we'll try to move so I can get those other seven on the other side. At least we got the Admiral down. And... Oh, that's one of ours that surrendered. Oh, shoot. If I turn here, I can fire on him. He still has 40 guns left. We got these three now leveling the guns towards this battleship. It is the closer target, so I'm hoping to avoid shooting on the smaller cargo ships. Oh, I think we just hit our own. Oh no, that must have been them firing on it. Or the enemy ship. This one's down to 16 guns. Yeah, there's not much I can do for that one. Actually, going like this... I can target both ships. Let's see if I cannot... I'm hoping... Ah, oh, this one has surrendered. I might be able to capture that one then. Continue here, fire on that one, destroy him. We're firing on his more broken side, I believe. Hey! Oh, you have zero guns on one side? And then you have eight on the other? Won't be able to do a lot. This one's wavering and firing. You have four on that side, seven on that side. Turn the four on that, maybe that will... Uh, change his mind on fighting. The Admiral, how many cannons does he have? Oh, he's one on either side, yeah. Uh, get out of range. Oh, this one's about to explode. The Admiral ship. The enemy Admiral. Is he about to sink, that one? I definitely have to upgrade my battle fleet. Oh, there went the Admiral ship. Is he going to take my ship with him? He's got seven on that side. He's probably going to sink the uh, little ship. If that comes in the way. 
I think I will be able to get that one. Oh, you have no cannons? Great. You still have 44. And you have 22 on the other side. I'm running out of ships here. I'm still that one at 45. This one only has 10. 12. Oh, the, you have 25 on the other side. Yeah, I should turn you around then. Just like I'm turning this one around. And... Oof. You should actually try to retreat. The Admiral should also try to retreat. And then it's these two ships. They should continue the fight. 23 guns. We basically broke the side on that one. I just gave that one a good thrashing. I really wanted you to save the guns for this one though. You know what? Let's see. 21 guns. Turn on that one. While you continue to chase after this one. And you should screw off for now. You might retreat later. He doesn't turn fast enough. But laying those 25 guns on him, yeah, we should have completely killed the hull of that idiot. He's probably sinking. Let's see, 22 guns, he's got 40. But if I can get both my ships firing... Oh, you have zero guns, but you have 34 on, 34 on one side, zero on the other. Oh, I'm being able to sandwich him. 22 on this side, 34 on this side, 20 on this side. He lost 14 guns in that, in that shot. He's down to five. No, he still has 21. 20. Keep bombarding. So we have twice as many guns as this one. And we're able to focus on him. Hopefully gun him down. This one is surrendered and on fire. Now we're actually going to go into each other's field of fire, which is not great. It's 14 guns. And this one's 22. Nice, but... Didn't really break anything. And this one's being outmaneuvered. I'm just going to tell him to halt. And fire. I should be able to win this. But it is, it is, it will be a close fight here. 15 guns left. I would definitely say I have the upper hand. So 18, 0 on the other side, those shots missed, 11 guns, 10 guns, 14, come on. Blast the f bastard. Oh, he's down to 6 now. Oh, something exploded. That was probably my ship, I think. Come on. Give a good volley into him now. 13 guns left. He's only got 26 crew. Keep bombarding him. Three guns, four. He's got three on one side. Four on the other. Oh. This could be nasty. I'm coming... Oh, that... He's about to explode. The sail... The sails just started burning. Means that he's gonna... Explode any second now. Glorious victory, sir. It's soon to be yours. Oh, he surrendered? 
He has surrendered and he is on fire and victory! Although by the narrowest of margin. Out of seven ships deployed, six remain. One lost. And one captured. Out of the enemy, two apparently remain. Um, we lost uh, this. I uh, we lost two ships, all hands, according to this. But it only said we lost one, which I don't get. We did get one of the cargo ships, however. I don't think we have enough power to take on the Spanish fleet. I thought we would, but clearly we won't. Um. I'm going to send the cargo ship over to uh, there, and then I'm going to hide my ship in the port. Oh, the Russians are... the Russian bastards are already there. And I can't dislodge my ally, my current ally. Once he's back, I should be able to have taken that. Right. There's no moves to make. Let's end turn and see what happens. Looks like I'm not getting off that island. A small Spanish fleet came to sink my transport. I'm gonna try to flee, but most likely it'll sink. The French army attacks while they have the uh, Spanish fleet right in the back. So we've, we've just landed on the beaches. The Corsican beaches is gonna be our D-Day landings. Mass force of enemies. They've got some sniper soldiers. They've got one modern reservist. And then a lot of old. Right. Let's fight this battle against the damned French. Oh, they've got another full stack on the island. That's not great. Our two forces are about to clash. We can see the massed formations of French territorial infantry marching towards our line. We've got that one unit of uh, helmet-wearing troops. Kind of funny, we have more units with French helmets than the French have. I've been bombarding the line a little bit here and there, trying to break them down, but of course there's so many of them, it's kind of hard to uh, make much of a dent. Now the fire starts, and uh, it looks like we might end up with one of those fights where the enemy... Oh no, they are going to fire back. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I am targeting this unit with the heavy artillery. The forest here should cover these troops a lot. The, the ones that are out in the open might be a different thing. So I might want to pull back troops at certain points here. Should actually hit that one. Now there was a lot of that those uh, flickering white lights. It's because I think, I can't remember, it's a, like a bloom setting or something that I have on, or it's something to do with the the colors, I believe. And, uh... It's kind of annoying. There's a way to... I, I know there's a way I can reduce it, but... Usually what happens is it... it turns... Uh, it kind of... Uh, it turns it kind of ugly in a way. Kind of looks like I'm gonna have to retreat to a certain point. There are some walls that I can set up over here. But I still want to protect the artillery. But I'm losing quite a bit of troops. It's actually worse, I think, on this side. Just because there's more French troops here. And it's more out in the open. We're gonna pull back. Let the French suffer a little more, more for artillery. What I should have done is I probably should have aimed at a certain flank rather than aim kind of towards the center so I could break one point and we should probably break 
the right side and or left side I mean their right side looks like they're kind of turning that way as well so if I anticipate their move we would do kind of an angle like that we would hold some units to stop these guys and then in this case we only have a single unit but I think that might be enough to try and flank them focusing fire down upon this side to try and break it killing as many troops on this side as possible they have already lost quite a lot and it will be compounded by the fact that there will be a hole in the center for the units and the way they're advancing means that as we can see here I have multiple units actually concentrating fire on one of theirs you're getting fired upon now so you will halt thing is you're out in the open that's not great I want to focus heavy artillery fire over here then and these three should actually advance upon the enemy Or are you firing it? You should be firing over here. You should be firing, concentrating your fire over there. And then... I think we'll concentrate on you. Bombard. Bombard. Heavily bombard the area. Kind of screwing up by not sending all the troops over here. And in this case, I do actually. Can I heavily outnumber this one unit here? I'm gonna pull these three units forward so I can concentrate loads of fire on them. And I am slowly but surely breaking these guys apart. They are concentrating loads of troops here. It's kind of stupid not to try and aim for that concentration. And then instead kind of push through here. We're going to push further in through the forest to get closer. Concentrated fire on these guys. Now I should concentrate fire over here. There's only two, three French soldiers left over here. Huh. The thing is, if they activate, I didn't know, I, I knew that they were probably going to have a big garrison. I didn't think they were going to have another full stack on the island. I'm hoping it's much more reserves. And I can take a better kind of defensive position to protect against that. Well, this is a, just a mess they've created over here. A massacre is what's going on over here and we should definitely take advantage of that and now we have because of the concentration over here we have a route going on with a large number of French troops retreating Continue to focus the artillery over here. Let's go ahead and barrage. These guys I'm worried about. They're probably quite accurate. The thing is, they're such a small unit. So I'm wondering if... If I'm able to fire back at them, how useful will they be? Yeah, on this side it's completely breaking apart. Let's have two advance while two stands and fires. This one's down to like probably a single unit, yeah? Another 12 here. Let's get him over here already. Concentrating fire. There's a single soldier left. And there's eight enemies over there. Let's see, what are the French doing? 
Oh, they're trying to bayonet charge us. The bayonet charging with the frontiersman. That seems like a rather odd choice to send in the snipers. Also note the snipers have the British rifle. And uh, now they have no rifles because they're all gone. French general retreating. More French units trying to get close enough to charge us. The French are lost and we are victorious. Focus fires on those frontiersmen out there. Did the general manage to get out? Yeah, he's over here somewhere. Let's see, there he is. It's only him. He's retreating. But the battle is won. The battle is won. Here's the result of the battle. The enemy lost everything out of their 3,300 men. Well, 74 of them survived. I doubt they'll be able to form a coherent unit though. Out of my 2,100, I lost 785, which is quite a lot. That's about a third of my force were killed. Highest killers goes to the artillery. No surprise there. They had quite a bit of targets to fire at. And also quite a bit of time to uh, destroy those targets. Very nice. Makes it easier for us to take the town, but still, remember, there's another full stack on the island. Airplane detected. All my airplanes are always detected. Um, where am I going to send you? I already have a lot of them down in Greece. I could send you over here, then. Another aircraft detected. Unit recruited. Cargo ship. Very nice. I wonder if there's any idea of sending some of the ships to different ports. Like, I know if you, st I think if you stack them multiple on the same, it's not really, you don't really get as much, maybe, as if you all send them to the same port. My fleet was actually pushed out by the Ottomans, so we're gonna go home and repair. I'm gonna bring this guy back. Hopefully, the Spanish don't sink him. I wonder if my naval recruitment. Yeah, my re naval recruit. Other naval recruitments were probably cancelled, so. My hope of getting an extra cargo ship failed. I didn't have to recruit one, though. Some stuff being built. Not important. Uh, general. Mentioned in the dispatches, so that's over here. It's gonna go ahead and attack. That's an easy out resolve. I'll even see if the mon surrender doesn't work, but we'll out resolve. It's a bit interesting if I could uh, free a nation here. Peacefully occupy. Low. Um, replenishment. Let's see, can we see what they have? Oh, it's a proper stack. But it's an old stack. They've got old cavalry and old units, but some of them seems to be quite experienced. 51 accuracy. Mine, though, are up to 60 at this point due to uh, the experience they've gained. Hopefully, though, this might actually lead to me being able to sign a peace treaty with France. And... Given that I've already had two battles, it might be too much to actually push the attack and do this one. Instead, we'll focus then on the diplomacy with France before we end the episode. France, I have destroyed one of your armies and I've taken your island. In exchange for uh, peace and uh, trade, I'll give you this island back. I will also offer you technology. How about that, France? Will you accept? Never in my words describe the insult. Why are you so determined to fight me? 
Okay, so if I just get peace then, peace, I'll give you technology. Normally I think technology, they don't really respect technology. They respect money is the only thing really that they, that they want. Let's add then, out of my 11,000, I'll give you five. Sir will rule the day. Okay, so the French, they don't care about the island. Well, you know what? We might be able to set up the Ottomans here. This island's even worse than Cor- or I mean, worse than, um, worse than Corsica. It's worse than uh, Sicily. My transport ship did survive because the Spanish didn't actually attack them in a proper way. I wonder... It's gonna sink anyways, but I wanna kinda see what's going on over here. Oh, I'm gonna just hide in here then. We could definitely go and take this island as well. See if I can gain peace with Spain through that. Just island hopping in the Mediterranean, seizing everything. So, it didn't work. I'll try to figure out this one, but this one seems harder because... Now I want peace, and they're not accepting it. The way I got around the Ottomans was because I removed peace as an option. Peace was never an option. Somehow, though, they are at war with... You know what? Let's get the aircraft over here. Are they crossing the Alps? Or what are the French doing? There's armies on the way. They even got Polish Legion. And they got some uh, Suave battalions and stuff. Kind of an interesting mix of new units over here and old units over here. But then again, they never really fought the French, I mean the, the Germans, did they? In any significant way. Interesting to see. I mean, maybe in the long run they will change their mind about losing Corsica. It might be that they think they might be able to take it back really quickly. Just through here. Um, hopefully though, we'll be able to set up so that I gain even more money. I actually like the fact, hopefully, uh, the Ukrainians win their independence just so I can trade with them. Means that we're back at full- wait, no, I, I will have, I will have six ships. And I'm only supposed to have cargo ships. I have six out of five. Ladies and gentlemen, I uh, just broke the system. Nice. Six out of five. Great. That means that I'll make even more money than I ever made before selling coal. Um, yes. Closing in on the end. We're going to quarantine the Ottomans. That's going to be next episode. You French peace doesn't matter as much. Uh, just that I kind of, I kind of, out of um, more of an almost role play reason, wants to see peace with France, just so I kind of clear off all these weird wars, like war with France and Spain and stuff like that, and the Scandinavian countries as well, even though they're very de unlikely to do anything on my mighty Serbian Empire, controlling. Look at what I control here. From Corsica, to Moldova, to Greece, to Croatia, and Venice, to, I was about to say Palermo, but I gave that away. And soon, very soon, we'll hold Constantinople. And with that said, I'll say as I always say, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully... I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.